Good evening, my name is Michael Bray and I am pursuing a Master's of Science degree in Business Intelligence. The reason for this is I believe I have a calling uh, in, in the analytics realm, in the analytics field, and it started at a very young age and it started with sports actually. I always looked at how a player's uh, production matched his cost and what a team could do better to improve their processes. Uh, this only grew uh, that started as a passion and only grew when I joined the military and attention to detail and the lack of waste that could be accounted for uh, really uh, hit something in me that, that I, I, I truly enjoyed uh, to do something at a more efficient pace than you can do something uh, to doing it right the first time really gave me something to look forward to every single day. Currently, I'm a trainer at BAE Systems, and there's not too many people in the career field of a trainer that would have a Master's of Science degree in Business Intelligence. Therefore, I believe I could carve out a great niche, uh, and it's a great opportunity to further my entrenchment into the trainer field. It's not something I desired at first, but it is something I figured out I was pretty good at while in the military as well. And I grew into the role of becoming an instructor, and I enjoyed teaching um, sailors on a day-to-day -day basis and that's currently uh, the role that I'm in now at BAE Systems. Uh, the path for a, a Master's of Science in Business Intelligence will most likely not gain fame from it. It won't get me Twitter followers or YouTube followers uh, and it probably won't make me a millionaire. However, the path that I'm on truly does engulf who I am and, and it defines the type of person that I am and that's what I most look forward to. Uh, as most everybody probably has a plan, um, the thing about plans are they can change. And when things go wrong, it is important to look back on the experiences as lessons learned and not harping on them and dwelling on the past because only bad can come from that. Once you've applied the lesson, you've learned the lesson, you have applied the lesson, you have to move forward and, and, and continue to grow from there. Nothing good happens looking in the back. Um, and on this path to becoming a master, patience is very much key. Um, you're not going to have everything happen to you in one day. And looking for shortcuts along the way or an easier way out or an easier path forward um, usually will not get you what you're looking for. Staying the course, doing the right thing, um, and being patient is imperative in becoming a master. If it was easy, everybody would be able to become a master but you have to dedicate your time and you have to be patient to do it. Uh, my first passion, and, and like I was talked about earlier, in sports developed at a very young age. Uh, the stats definitely encompassed. Uh, I engulfed the stats, the stats and they encompassed what I thought um, was a very intriguing thing. I likened myself to becoming a coach or general manager uh, because I didn't think I could be a player, um, as not too many people can, um, but I loved the nuances of the game. And then that's where my desire to become a coach or general manager uh, grew to, especially in football. Um, a deep desire of mine would be to parlay my master's degree uh, into a sports analytics field. That way I can prosper and I can grow and I can apply a true passion from my earliest of ages um, into the sports world as we know it and provide all of my intellect and knowledge uh, into that field. A couple of personal goals I'd like to achieve this uh, these next three weeks would be to attain a higher level of mastery from here on out. Week one really spoke to me um, and it makes me want to dig deeper in, in figuring out what it means to become a master as well as I'd like to understand what the importance of uh, mastering a profession actually means. So those two goals uh, would be something I'd love to accomplish these next three weeks uh, on my path to mastering my journey. Thank you.